General Electric 2010 here. Arrived and standing by. Over. Roger that. GE 2010. Out. So I wanted to highlight a couple of the awesome features that I find with this, that I really like with this engine. First off, the interior is fully detailed. You got a fully detailed console, fully detailed controls. The uh, figures are made out of die cast, uh, out of metal. I believe they're cast in brass. And if I start up the engine, get to that menu in the remote. As you can see, the computer screens light up, which is a really nice detail. A little bit of light bleed, but I don't really care for that. I don't notice that most of the time. Of course, roof pops off. There go. Got to pop back on. Quick look at the front. Door pop opens up to reveal some details. I had it cracked open because it's not really that easy to open it up with the door handle because it has a tendency to want it to close itself again with a magnet. Charge lights are absolutely amazing on the size of the locomotive. They're all working. Although on this side, I don't know if you'd be able to notice, but one of the sequences for the charge lights is kind of dim. The third to last LED that you can see there is like half brightness or quarter brightness, but still works. You don't really notice it most of the time while operating. Here I had to replace the chain on the side of the truck, which, I mean, I could have bought the whole side frame, but honestly, it was just the chain that I needed onto it. and. Yeah, I, I bought a chain for like five bucks, which looked close enough to me and it looked realistic enough, so I just put it on. And it is now in sleep mode. So yeah, it was a much more economical solution rather than just buying a whole entire truck side frame and my camera doesn't want to focus anymore. There we go. But yeah. Sleeping. And the engine is in sleep mode now. <laughs> and wake it up. I could just issue any command. I'll just do aux one real quick. You get a long bell, just like the real thing, saying that it's waking up. And she's back to life. Also on top, we got the... Well, of course, first off, the smoking is absolutely incredible. It, it functions perfectly, although it smells a little burnt, so that's because the batting is actually a little burnt. I took a look at it while I was replacing the handrails with the stanchions on the sides, and as you can see, all the stanchions are absolutely perfect. If I look, show you both sides, absolutely perfect. No problem with those. Rear radio section, I had to replace that because this mesh on the original one was missing. Well, it was half missing, and it broke. the other half broke off during shipping, but that was fine by me. I didn't mind. So this... The engine's pretty much in pristine condition, but yeah, got the rear radiator fans. We'll be ramping up to RPM level 4, and we'll see them work. Honestly, this is one of the coolest features on this locomotive. First, feature, first coolest feature probably has to be, uh, I said the smoke unit. Smoke unit is really cool. Second coolest feature, the fans, and then, of course, the charge lights at the sides. And fourth, of course, the overall quality of the model. Just like all die casts, it's incredibly heavy. Like the shell weighs more than the, uh, the frame with, uh, the frame with all the electronic components and stuff like that. So it's, it's absolutely incredible. And apologies for my phone vibrating. So... I'm gonna shut this thing down now and uh, end off the video. Good run, signing off. 2010 out. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I'd like to also say I'm very, very glad that I finally have got a chance to buy this thing. And the fact that I got I took a chance to buy this thing off eBay. Because I got a really nice model in the end, with that just need a, a little tiny bit of work to get it absolutely well, not absolutely perfect. It's close to perfect. Because again, we have the 
charge lights at the side they have the problem and of course this geo logo has a little bit of a scuff on the paint but that's not a big deal because i think general that was a general problem with these locomotives about half of the models had this problem and the other half didn't but yeah very glad to own this thing because this thing's a beast it's absolutely amazing so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully there'll be more videos on this locomotive in the future and catch you guys in the next video